nigga trying to show you how I live. I ain't playing, I'm just saying, girl, you know just what it is. Got your girl in the whip, and she bumping to my shit. Nice thighs, nice face, and you know that she a 10. Baby girl, don't be tripping. Grab the cup, keep on sipping. Getting faded in this party, and you know we getting knowledge. Trying to show you how we live. Trying to show you how we live. Trying to show you how we live. And you know we doing. Yo, what's Gucci, everybody? It's your boy, Famously Amazing. I'm back with another video. I know I've been gone for a minute. I know, I know. I don't need y'all telling me, oh, Isaiah, where you been? You've been gone for a minute. Blah, 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 blah. I know, it's only been two days. And I apologize. I should have made those videos. But I was, I was, I was, I was, I was distracted. And I apologize about that, you guys. But I actually had a post. I actually had a post. Hold on, who is this? Oh, shit. Um, but um, I actually put a post on Facebook about three days ago, two days ago. And it was, um, I forgot. Oh, no. So I did a post. I did a video, actually. And I was like, girls, give guys some relationship advice. And y'all um, actually can go back on my channel and actually go look and see that one. And now this one, I said, men only give ladies some relationship advice. And I had some people comment some things. And we're about to go read these and see what, what us guys give y'all females for some relationship advice. Because you know y'all females aren't perfect. Just like us niggas ain't perfect, y'all females not perfect either. So don't think y'all perfect because y'all not perfect, okay? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. If you guys are already subscribed, make sure you guys smash that like button. And let's get to these comments. Let's see what these people say. Alright. Actually, we have a person who actually said uh, so much stuff and his name is Terrence so most of these comments are from Terrence so he says stop crying on Facebook about a motherfucker you still gonna be fucking with exactly y'all don't know how many females on my Facebook be talking about the same dude oh he ain't shit this and that but you still fucking him you're still fucking with him but you want to talk mad shit about, about him now. like I, I don't get that like shut up or leave him alone like what are you gonna do y'all keep crying about the same fucking nigga but yet you still fucking oh he ain't shit he did this he did that two days later you smash you don't it don't make it don't excuse me it don't make sense y'all ladies don't make sense y'all females do not make sense y'all mm. i can go on and on about that one bro that's a check that, that's a good one that's a good one next shut the fuck up sometimes and listen you're not always right we your boyfriend slash husbands not your daddies facts Shut up and listen sometimes, ladies. Y'all always want to get y'all point across and never let us speak. Y'all always want to get the last word. Y'all never want to look at it from my perspective. Yeah, I know there's guys who never want to look at it, look at it from your perspective, but y'all, you still, it still go both ways. So we're going to have to listen because we're your God, we're your, we're your man. And we're going to, y'all going to be cursing out, cursing the fuck out of us or whatever. Y'all going to be coming at us. So obviously, we're going to listen to y'all. But once we try to speak, y'all don't, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear it. Y'all be all up in y'all. Y'all be all up in y'all shit, no. Like, what to what? I could go, that's another check. I can go on about it. Next, uh, work as a team and stop thinking we are supposed to do everything. Yes, a relationship is supposed to be 50-50 or 100-100. Y'all both supposed to go, it's supposed to come into the middle. You, y'all both come together to create the generation with terminology and the system and the stars and the lights of the days. What? But nah. That that that's right, y'all. Well, a lot of I mean I don't know. It depends on what what kind of female. Cause there are a lot of independent females out here nowadays who don't need a man to do shit. And there are a lot of females out here who depend on a man to do every single thing. Like I know us guys we're supposed to be like the provider, you know, blah blah. blah. But still, you gotta come to the table with something too. We, sex not gonna just g g make everything great. I mean, you, I'm not saying it's not bad. You can suck on my nipple. You can suck on my neck. You feel me? Moving on. Communication is key. Yes, communication is key. Um, basically, you know, communicate with us, ladies. A lot of y'all ladies right now go through so much shit and y'all don't say nothing to the guy that's putting y'all through so much shit. Y'all don't say nothing. Speak up because if you don't say nothing. He's not going to know he's doing nothing wrong. Trust me. I am a freaking victim. I'm well, not a victim. I am a, I am, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I am guilty of doing that in my past, doing something. No, not cheating. Just doing something. Not knowing I'm doing something wrong and your lady don't speak up. She don't let us know that we're doing something wrong. So if we don't know we're doing it wrong, we're not going to stop. And if you do let us know and we still continue to do it, leave our ass. Ladies, y'all are so afraid to leave a nigga because y'all want to be stuck. Y'all afraid to be alone. Like, y'all, oh my God. Like, <sighs> that's another check. Boom. 
Next up, we got learn how to suck dick, or we're not taking no trips. Damn. Yeah, learn how to suck penis. Um, ladies, y'all need to learn how. Well, yeah, yeah, y'all need to learn how. Like me, like, I, I don't know if I spoke to you guys about this before, but I honestly don't care about getting head because I've never came from head. Um, I don't want you guys to say, oh, you haven't had good head before. You, have, I've had great head before. I still haven't come. I cannot come from head. Y'all can try. Y'all want to try and see if I can make me come from head, ladies? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like, nah, but yeah, that's a, but that, most guys love that shit. I mean, I love it too. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to say, I don't like head. Of course I love it. But I just, I don't, honestly don't care from it for it. I would rather, you know, leave the girl. Anyway, moving on. Um, understand that a man telling you his feelings is not a sign or form of weakness. Facts. Y'all ladies are weak. Y'all would take that as a sign of weakness. I'm like, bad YouTube. Uh, I had a phone call. My bad. Hey, if you had a phone call, why are your shirt is unbuttoned? <laughs> don't worry about all that. Okay. Then where was I at? Um, last but not least, if you have a good one, show him how much you appreciate him. Like he shows you and don't include him and y'all niggas are all the same rants. There's a lot of good dudes out here that y'all overlook. Facts! Look at that one right here, ladies. I'm a good nigga. I just don't get the appreciation of a good nigga, man. Uh, uh. But nah, y'all do overlook us. Y'all know what kind of guys y'all go for? And I actually have an experiment that y'all do. Y'all go for those flashy, street, urban, hood kind of guys. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell y'all why. And I got a freaking a good ass experiment that I did. So I posted like some of my comedy funny stuff on social platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. And I posted some of my me being like, like like urban hood like like a real like a street nigga like like a, a thug or whatever i posted both of those and i wanted to see the feedback that i got from both of those <clears throat> excuse me the the stuff my comedy stuff barely it, it didn't really get a, anything or whatever when i posted the hood type shit i had so many people hitting me up with the hard eyes the wet emojis like the water emoji the oh you look good chocolate blah blah why y'all ain't do that with my comedy funny stuff why was it always why was it on the hood the the uh, why was it on that kind instead of the other kind because that's the kind of niggas y'all go for i'm telling you y'all cannot lie when y'all that's the kind of guys y'all go for i like i'm a, watch 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 i ain't gonna say then next next we got Darnell he says before you get mad at us put yourself in the same situation tell me what would you do facts that's what I just said about other dude next we got Cody he says if a man is giving you attention make sure it's mutual because you're wasting time facts if we're giving y'all attention make sure y'all give us that same attention back same vice versa but ladies you know how conceited y'all been getting y'all girls been conce conceited a lot lately and I don't know why Next, we got Jeremy. He says, treat your relationship like a video game. Allow your man to select the, leap, the skill level easy, no more hard. Well, that's, not, that's, a, that's a good one, Jeremy. Next, we got David. David is always writing books on my post. All right. Oh, that's a lot of reading, bro. He says, stop trying to change us into who you want us to be. Either accept us and care for us as we are or realize we aren't for you and move on before it gets too deep facts also stop doing things in spite or to make us angry just because we made you angry intent is everything and we ain't purposely to, and we ain't do it purposely to make you mad so it's unfair and that's petty and stop expecting us to fulfill your self-worth and posts compliments showing you off etc recognize leveling recognize your love language and others and be a bit more understanding that we aren't why are the same? Everything doesn't need reassurance. It needs understanding and communication. Yes. Facts. Um, oh, let me go and see. Yes, accept us as we are, ladies. Like, except for, like, if we do some bad shit, of course, you don't gotta, you know, you y'all can move on or whatever. But, like, if y'all, like, that, that's, that's another reason why I say make sure y'all get to know the person before y'all decide to bang or move on for it because y'all like to rush into shit before you actually know who that person is. So that's something totally different. Uh, and last we got tell better stories. Don't let social media drive your relationship. 
be righteous in the way you say. Yes. Don't let social media blind y'all ladies into what a relationship should be and make it how you want it to be. You know, a lot of y'all, I think I said this in one of my previous videos, a lot of y'all look at these social media couples like, oh, I want to be like them, oh, I want to be like them. But why don't you want to be like yourself or make your own thing? Like, why, don't, why can't you make your own relationship goals? But, man, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's your boy Famously Amazing. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, make sure you guys smash that like button. Team Amazing, I love y'all. We're still on the road to 1K. I got two videos dropping for y'all today. It's your boy Famously Amazing, and I'm out. He's so amazing. My nigga trying to show you how I live. I ain't playing. I'm just saying, girl, you know just what it is. Got your girl in the whip, and she bumping to my